Hi, it's Ruby. Today we are heading to San Diego, California and visiting the Catamaran Resort, Hotel, and Spa. This hotel is located eight miles from the San Diego airport and it's directly on Mission Bay. It is also about an eight minute walk to the Pacific Coast Beach. The Catamaran is primarily recognized for its proximity to the beach, water activities, and it's often utilized to host events such as weddings or large parties. Polynesian-inspired decor is styled throughout the property itself, but surprisingly, not in the rooms, and we'll get to the rooms. <laughs> For now, let's focus on the property itself and discuss what the resort has to offer. The best features of this property can definitely be found along Mission Bay itself. There you can find the Oceana Coastal Kitchen that offers both indoor and outdoor seating, as well as the entrance to the Catamaran Spa and Fitness Center. Many of the meeting and event rental spaces are located outside on the beach itself or in the building right above the spa. Mission Bay is honestly a beautiful location and the hotel does offer water sport rentals as well as complimentary beach play items such as frisbees and footballs. Evening entertainment is also available for booking and that would include a sunset luau and bonfires at additional cost. If you are hungry for a bite and don't want to spend the high dollar amount at the Oceana Coastal Kitchen, you can visit the Oasis Snack Shack for small bites during the day, or you can check out the Lava Java, which is also a grab and go option inside the lobby. Honestly, I don't recommend that location though, because when we went, it smelled really bad and there was flies on the food, but maybe if you go and they kind of step it up a notch there, that could be something that you consider. I honestly would just recommend walking across the street to the main boardwalk on the Pacific Ocean Beach and grabbing a bite there because there's plenty to eat there. The Catamaran Lobby serves as a gateway to the beach, activities, and amenities I mentioned before, as well as a gift shop and access to some of the rooms and suites. Access to Moray's, which is a cocktail and casual eats lounge, is also accessible through here. A staircase to your right will lead you up to some of the event space that is available for rentals. There is a bird encounter also available throughout the day in the lobby, and that features talking macaws. There is also a koi fish swimming pool right outside the main lobby doors, so check that out if you're into that kind of thing. Now let's take a closer look at the spa and also the fitness center that is right on the beach and has a beautiful view of Mission Bay. The Catamaran Spa features a shop full of wellness related items for purchase as well of a multitude of services. If you book a package, it does come with free parking, access to the relaxation lounge, steam room access, sauna access, pool access, and of course your featured spa amenity. The fitness center was small and is located right next door, but it did have a lot of the newer features that I needed for my workout, so I'm not complaining there. Hours are limited, and because it is small, it does get full, so make sure you keep that in mind when you're planning your day. If you exit the main lobby and head outside to your right, you'll find the arcade area, a pool featuring a bar and grill, as well as the remainder of the buildings for room and suite access. A parking garage is also available if you plan to park your car on site but definitely check the rate. Now I mentioned earlier that I <laughs> kind of chuckled when I was talking about the rooms and I'm gonna get into it right now. So basically the way that I felt about this resort is that it's more set up like a motel when you start looking at the pool and when you start looking at the room. We just didn't have a really good experience when we checked in. For example, there was a plate with a bunch of dishes right outside of the door and the pictures on the website that are featured are just not matching what the room actually looks like. Now I do want to give them a, I guess, little bit of leniency because it is stated that the rooms are being renovated and so not all of the rooms are renovated and we just, I guess, ended up having a room that was older in style and very dated. I just didn't really like the feel of walking outside to my room from the lobby. And I think that just might come with the area itself. While it is the beach and it is a pretty area, it just didn't feel super safe to me. And I, I really can't really discredit the hotel for that necessarily. But when you're paying over $400 a night to go and stay at this resort during the summer, which is what we did, I think there's a certain level of expectation that comes with that. And I have stayed at many Hawaiian resorts and hotels 
throughout the islands and this is a hotel that is kind of being paired to a Polynesian or Hawaiian experience. So I kind of went into it with that expectation. That being said, you pay a lot of money to stay at a resort in Hawaii to be on an oceanfront property and a lot of times you also pay a resort fee to have special amenities so that you can really utilize the beach and the ocean itself. While this resort does pair itself or compare itself to one of those types of properties and the location, while it is beautiful, it's just not the same. And so to me, the price point shouldn't be the same. Additionally, when we checked in, our room wasn't ready at check-in and there was nowhere for us to really go and change or to get ready because we had to be somewhere at 4.30 and check-in was at 4.00. And you know, the other high-end resorts that we've stayed at in Hawaii, they actually have hospitality suites for that reason. So there's just way more amenities that are available to people and it does make that price point feel better and maybe a little bit more comfortable. Whereas with this resort, it just didn't necessarily make sense to me. That being said, I think that if you did want to stay at this resort and you were to check in, a pro tip would definitely be to ask for one of the renovated rooms and also maybe just pay the extra money to be on the ocean front like slash Mission Bay side because that side was really beautiful and I'm sure those rooms are really nice. In closing, I do think that this resort does have potential. It is a really pretty property and if you wanna maybe go to the restaurant or if you are having an event there, the event space is really beautiful and the staff seems really amazing as well. So it would definitely be worth it from that perspective. If you wanna stay, definitely make sure that you're asking for the renovated room and maybe even try to target a time of year where it's not so expensive so you get that experience of being at the water and enjoying the property but not having to pay that high price point. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review of the Catamaran Resort and Spa property and the room itself. <laughs> if you like my content, please be sure to check me out on my other platforms such as Instagram at rubies underscore best underscore life. And if you have any questions about this property or maybe you had a little bit of a different experience than I did, drop me a comment. I'd love to engage with you guys. All right. I want to thank you so much for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.